The Enigma of the Timepiece Heist Part 1 The Mysterious Disappearance In the quaint town of Mysteria, renowned for its rich history and peculiar mysteries, Detective Olivia Smith had just begun investigating her most challenging case yet. The Mayor's Prized Possession a priceless antique timepiece had mysteriously vanished from the local museum. Olivia knew she had her work cut out for her as she delved into the intricate details of the case. She studied the museum's security footage, meticulously analyzing each frame for any hint or clue that might lead her closer to the truth. Hours turned into days, and yet, the mystery remained unsolved. Part 2 A Curious Visitor just as Olivia began feeling disheartened, a peculiar visitor arrived at the police station. Mr. Arthur Hastings, an elderly man with a twinkle in his eye, claimed to have information regarding the missing timepiece. Intrigued, Olivia sat down with him, ready to listen. Mr. Hastings explained that he was once a renowned clockmaker known for his expertise in crafting intricate timepieces. Feeling connected to the stolen artifact, he had taken it upon himself to investigate. He shared a theory that the timepiece held a hidden secret, a map leading to a hidden treasure rumored to be scattered across Mysteria. Part 3 A Race Against Time Eager to solve the case and uncover the truth, Olivia teamed up with Mr. Hastings. They combed through historical documents, deciphering ancient texts and following cryptic clues left behind by previous generations. As they unraveled the secrets of Mysteria's past, Olivia and Mr. Hastings found themselves drawn deeper into a web of mysticism and adventure. The duo encountered ancestral riddles, navigated elaborate puzzles, and traversed hidden passageways beneath the town. Along their journey, they encountered enigmatic characters, each with their own motives and secrets. However, Olivia's gentle nature and patient investigation skills allowed her to gain their trust. Part 4 The Final Piece After weeks of tireless searching, Olivia and Mr. Hastings stumbled upon a long-forgotten underground chamber. Illuminated by ancient torches, they discovered the stolen timepiece resting atop an ornate pedestal. Excitement filled the air as they realized that the timepiece itself was the final piece of the treasure map. With the clock ticking, Olivia quickly deduced the missing artifacts' locations, piecing together each clue from their previous encounters. It became evident that this elaborate heist was not just about wealth, but about preserving Mysteria's ancient heritage. Part 5 Unmasking the Culprit By following the clues, Olivia unveiled the mastermind behind the timepiece heist, the museum curator himself, Alan Sinclair. Desperate for Mysteria to regain its former glory, Alan believed that only by obtaining the hidden treasure could he restore the town's reputation. With evidence in hand, Olivia confronted Alan, calmly explaining that true restoration lies in embracing and honoring Mysteria's historical value. Not in stolen artifacts. Recognizing the error of his ways, Alan admitted his wrongdoing, vowing to lead the town towards a brighter future. Epilogue A Town Rediscovered the news of the solved case spread throughout Mysteria like wildfire. The townsfolk celebrated Olivia as a hero, appreciative of her unwavering dedication in protecting their history. Olivia learned that true detective work isn't just about solving mysteries, but also about fostering unity and preserving what makes a place special. Mysteria flourished in the aftermath, becoming known not just for its mysterious past, but for the warmth and kindness of its people. And at the center of it all was Detective Olivia Smith, a gentle yet determined force ensuring the town's secrets remained safe, waiting for future adventurers and detectives to discover. Shades of Deception Once upon a time in the vibrant city of Eldoria, there lived a brilliant detective named Oliver Moore. He possessed an unmatched ability to see beyond what met the eye, delving deep into the shadows to uncover the truth that lay hidden beneath. Oliver was admired by all. Known for his extraordinary knack for solving cases that left others stumped. One fateful evening, Eldoria was thrown into chaos when the prized possession of Lady Miranda, a precious jewel known as the Celestial Sapphire, vanished from her private vault. The entire city was perplexed. 
and the case fell into Oliver's capable hands. Oliver began his investigation by visiting Lady Miranda's estate. The mansion was adorned with opulence, filled with priceless art and stunning antiques. As he questioned Lady Miranda and her staff, it became evident that someone within the household was involved in this audacious crime. Days turned into weeks as Oliver meticulously scrutinized each piece of evidence. His experienced eye caught subtle discrepancies and concealed motives. He interrogated the butler, who appeared suspiciously evasive, and questioned the maid, who seemed oddly nervous. The closer Oliver got to the truth, the more elaborate the web of deception became. It became apparent to Oliver that the celestial sapphire was just a small part of a much grander scheme. Every clue revealed a secret world of corruption and deceit that lurked beneath the shimmering surface of Eldoria. With his unwavering determination and attention to detail, Oliver started gaining the trust of the city's underworld. As the investigation intensified, Oliver found himself entangled in a dangerous game of cat and mouse with a formidable adversary known only as the Phantom. The Phantom was a master of disguises and manipulation always managing to stay one step ahead of Oliver's pursuit. It was clear that the Phantom held the key to solving the mystery, but would Oliver be able to unmask this elusive criminal? With time running out and pressure mounting, Oliver's breakthrough came when he noticed a subtle pattern in the placement of the stolen jewels. He discovered that Lady Miranda had been unknowingly orchestrating her own downfall, manipulated by the Phantom through a series of cleverly placed clues. Oliver set a trap, inviting Lady Miranda and her staff to a grand masquerade ball, where he intended to expose the Phantom once and for all. As the clock struck midnight, Oliver revealed an astonishing revelation that left everyone at the ball in awe. The butler, who had been pretending to be devoted to Lady Miranda, was, in reality, the Phantom all along. He had orchestrated the theft of the celestial sapphire to gain access to a secret compartment within the jewel safe, containing classified documents that could ruin Lady Miranda and many others in the city. As the authorities apprehended the phantom, Eldoria breathed a sigh of relief. Grateful for Oliver's unrivaled detective skills, Oliver's ability to see beyond what met the eye had once again triumphed over darkness, bringing a sense of justice to the city. From that day forward, the legend of Oliver Moore, the master detective, echoed through the streets of Eldoria. His long and arduous journey had proven that heroes could emerge even in the darkest of times, illuminating the path of truth amidst the shades of deception.